Hi, I'm Dori Demers and I'm the RISE Vermont Coordinator. RISE Vermont is a community initiative to embrace healthier lifestyles, improve the quality of life, and reduce healthcare costs of where we live, work, and play. We are pleased to bring you RISE TV, a weekly syndicated show on Northwest Access Television, bringing us all tips, tricks, and resources to embrace a healthier lifestyle. We are thrilled that we are partnering with the Vermont Department of Health St. Albans District Office to offer these tapings as WIC approved activities. Please be sure to listen for your WIC approved phrase that will appear at the bottom of your screen here and also be told by the co-host. This will be what you will have to report back to your local district office to get credit for your second nutrition education. If you'd like more information about RISE Vermont, head to www.risevermont.com or follow us on social media. I really hope you enjoy the show and thank you for joining us in embracing a healthier lifestyle and creating a healthier community for all of us and generations to come. Thank you. Hi, my name is Moretti. I'm the School Wellness Specialist with RISE Vermont. Hi, I'm Betsy Fournier. I am the Swanton Wellness Specialist. And today, Moretti and I are gonna talk about sun safety. So let's go outside. It's a gorgeous sunny day. Okay, let's go. What do we need? Um, snacks? Yes, but what else? Water. Absolutely. What else? Bubbles. Well, of course, but what else? Um, bubbles, water, snacks, sun. I think we got everything. Mm, I think we're missing something that's very important when we're out in the sun. What? Sunscreen. Sunscreen. So we have to protect our skin when we're outside. UV rays are um, pretty harsh in the summertime, especially between the hours of 10 and 4. Actually, UV rays can get us anytime. So in the snow, um, sun reflects, uh, as well as at the beach or on the water. So a lot of time, what we need to remember any time of the year, even with cloud cover, is to put on our sunscreen. Some clouds actually amplify the UV rays, and so a lot of us go outside when it's cloudy thinking, meh, I don't need any sunscreen, when in fact we need to make sure that we've got it on. So the most important thing to remember with sunscreen is what level of, UV, of SPF? 30. 30. Yay. Because with a 30 SPF, that means you could be out in the sun for 30 minutes and only receive uh, the amount of UV rays um, for one minute unexposed. And so you should wear 30 on up. Um, especially if you're fair skinned, you should wear much higher than 30. For children under the age of six, we recommend, or the CDC recommends, that babies are um, covered up with loose clothing so that there's not direct sun exposure at all. Over the age of six, um, towards one, they recommend not a lot of sunscreen, but you can put sunscreen on if they're going to be exposed. So um, the amount you use is about one ounce, so a great big handful, rubbing it on your arms anywhere you're exposed. Be sure to get your ears, the back of your neck, um, and if you're going to be on the snow, on the water, or on a beach where light is reflected, get under your chin and under your nose because that's where you're gonna burn and that hurts a lot. Um, tops of your feet as well, especially if you're wearing those cute sandals that you've got on, you wanna make sure the tops of your feet don't burn because that hurts. Um, so when you're outside, you should reapply at least every two hours, if not more. If you're in the water, Swimming, um, you should get out more often and, and reapply because water, even um, if it says that it's water resistant, it's still gonna wash off. And so you're at risk of getting sunburned again. Um, and also, so when you get out of the pool, you're toweling off, that's gonna wipe off all of your sunscreen as well. So then you're, it's, it's just like you don't have any sunscreen on at all. Um, what else, Betsy? Oh, so. We have our hats on. Yes, we do. So that will only protect here. It's not going to protect your ears or the back of your neck. So we, uh, it's also recommended, if you're going to be outside for a long time, that you put on a wide-brimmed hat. So our smart Rise Vermont hats will only cover the front of our face, but Betsy's got this cool <laughs> wide-brimmed hat. Um, you can also put on clothing, you know, long sleeve shirts or long pants, loose clothes, but a tighter weave, because a loose weave is gonna let the sunlight in and you're still gonna burn. So 
Um, hydrate as well is super important when you're outside. And have fun. Have fun. So <laughs> wearing a hat, wearing clothes, sunscreen, and between the hours of 10 and 4, the sun's rays are strongest. So if you've been outside, you can do all of these things, but you should also move to the shade at some point. Um, we're not saying go inside. We're saying stay outside, still have fun, but play in the shade so that you're not um, exposed to the sun's strong rays. So... Lots of great stuff, Moretti. Lots of great stuff. And so before we jump into our quiz, we want to remind you... SBF is your... Is your friend, and that is our WIC, WIC approved code. All right, so let's jump into the quiz to see um, how much Betsy paid attention. <laughs> so, um, I don't even need to bother wearing sunscreen. I can't get skin cancer because my normal routine is I'm in the office near a window or driving to work, so I'm not exposed to the sun quite a bit. True or false? False. False. Windows still allow UV light in, so you can still get a sunburn through a window. All right. How about if I'm wearing sunscreen, I can stay in the sun as long as I want? False. False. Why is that, Betsy? Why? <laughs> so you should apply, reapply sunscreen every two hours. Every two hours. Wear a sunscreen above 30, 30 SPF. If you're swimming, wear, either wear a shirt, shirt. Um, or keep getting out and reapplying because the water can amplify the rays. Um, and when you're playing around in the water and toweling off, it's going to take off your sunscreen. So just because you applied it once, doesn't mean you don't need to put it back on. And you should apply it at least 30 minutes before going outside. We never remember to do it before going outside. We're already outside toasting when we put it on. Um, it is safe to let my children stay in the pool all day if they slip on a t-shirt after a couple hours and reapply sunscreen to their faces, arms, and legs. False. False. Um, there are a lot of products on the market where um, there are shirts that, that actually offer UV protection. Mm -hmm. um, and so you can go for those okay. specifically, but a lot of times the kids just put on a t-shirt. Right. And the sun comes right through that. So and children- And they have to stay hydrated. And too. they have to stay hydrated. That is super important all, all day long. How often do I need to reapply uh, water resistant sunscreen? So four options, every two hours or sooner, after sweating or swimming, after I towel dry, or all of the above? Betsy? I'd say all of the above. All of the above, because water resistant sunscreen isn't waterproof. It's not like you're wearing a bubble. Nope. You're still exposed to UV rays, and that, water, that sunscreen needs to be reapplied. So getting a base tan at an indoor tanning salon is a good way to prevent sunburn. When I go to the beach later this summer, or some people say they want to go out and get their first burn of the season because that'll protect them. True or false, Betsy? I have to say false. That is so false. So even tanning beds, harmful UV rays, it may not be on the surface burn, but underneath um, it is causing damage to your skin. And so all of that damage over many years can lead to skin cancer. What are some of the most common and most painful sunscreen mistakes? Choosing an SPF below 30, using too little sunscreen, waiting too long to reapply, or all of the above? All of the above. All of the above. We always make a lot of those mistakes. I've already had my burn this season, and uh, <laughs> so I definitely have my store of sunscreen in the car and in the house, ready to go. So let's kind of sum it all up with a little story. You put on your sunscreen at noon, and you've been hanging out beside the pool reading your book. At two o'clock, which do you think that you should do to protect your skin? Slip on, some more, slip on some loosely woven cotton clothes, move to the shade, or reapply more sunscreen. I guess I'm gonna move to the shade. Move to the shade. All of these options are good, they'll all help, but the best option at that point, because you've been outside all day long, is move to the shade. In the middle of the day, between 10 and four, that's when the sun's rays are harshest, and you've been out there, wrapped up in your Danielle Steele novel. So, <laughs> so you'll want to move to the shade and drink a lot of water and have a healthy snack. So have fun, play in the sun, blow a lot of bubbles. Eat a snack and hydrate. 
<laughs> Thank you. And don't forget your sunscreen. Above SPF 30. Thank you.